India's deadliest fighter jet is nearly ready to take off. Before the end of 2024, India's own attack aircraft, LCA Tejas MK2, will take first flight. And before 2030, the Tejas MK2 will be inducted into the IAF. So why is Tejas MK2 a game-changer for India's defence capabilities? And how will the Tejas MK2 be different from the Tejas MK1 versions? India still flies the aging fleets of Mirage 2000s, Jaguar jets and MiG-29 fighters. The multi-role Tejas MK2 is an upgrade on all these jets and will be used to phase out these aging war horses whose life cycles end by 2035. India will build nearly 200 Tejas MK2 to maintain and increase its fighter jet squadrons from the current 31 to nearly 35 over the next decade. This will still be lower than the optimal squadron strength of 42 needed to face a possible two-front conflict against China and Pakistan. But how will Tejas MK2 be an upgrade on Tejas MK1 already in service? Firstly, these are two different aircraft for different roles. The Tejas MK1 has already proved its battle readiness, with the IAF trusting its deployment in high threat environments, including Jammu and Kashmir, in close proximity to the LOC with Pakistan and LAC with China. These light, nimble jets are highly maneuverable and crafted for close combat and air superiority. The Tejas MK2 will be bigger, medium weight fighter jet. It has 11 hard points compared to 7 in the MK1 versions, which means it can carry more weapons. MK2 also has nearly double fuel carrying capacity of 4,700 kilograms, which enables it to have a wider combat range of 3,000 kilometers, which hints towards its role being that of a deep strike aircraft, capable of going behind enemy lines and striking strategic targets. The pilots in MK2 will also have an oxygen tank with 8 hours of supply, far higher than the 2 hour limit for MK1 pilots. The bigger and mightier Tejas MK2 will also be able to carry heavy duty bombs like the Scalp, which weighs over 1300 kilograms. In short, before 2030, the Tejas MK2 will add serious muscle to the IAF's arsenal, giving it significant advantage over the Pakistan Air Force while giving the Chinese PLA a serious run for its money. Add to that India's fifth generation AMCA and TEDBF under development, Indian air power is set to become the dominant force in the region. Tejas MK2's imminent debut marks a remarkable leap forward for Indian defence capabilities and national security. Do like and subscribe for more such news reports.